Kronker is starting to become pay to win, and we're going to be talking about that in today's video. But make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I also want to give a shout out to Zambalo for discovering this. His channel will be in the description down below. Also, if you're going to be buying KR, then don't forget to use code QUACKY when doing so. Lately, there's been something that's been circulating around the Kronker community that's, well, basically making the tough pub stompers that much more overpowered. And that one thing is, well, shoes, but it may not be for the reason that you think it is. Let me first backtrack to mods in Conquer, in particular the sound mods. As many of you may know by now, you can mod basically any sound file within Conquer, whether it be the sound of your gun, the spin sound, the market sound, or even the map ambient sound. Well, in those sound files, you can actually mod the footstep sounds, those sound file names being step underscore zero through two. And you can actually take those current sound files that are within the game and amplify them and add them to a resource swapper or a sound mod, and those footsteps become much louder than normal. But here's where the pay to win aspect comes into play. By default, if you do amplify the footstep sound file, yes, the enemy footsteps are going to be louder, but your footsteps are also going to be louder as a result. However, if you use a shoe that has a sound included with it, an example, the bunnies or the squeakers, you can actually turn the cosmetic volume in game down to zero, making it to where you don't hear your footsteps, but the enemy footsteps are still amplified. And while those shoes can run you anywhere from 12 to 16,000 KR. So you're basically getting a free Dead Silence and Cyber Pro from Modern Warfare 3, and it's very noticeable. We're actually gonna hop into a game here and compare the differences. But before we do that, I'm actually giving away 60,001, yeah, that's right, 60,001 KR giveaway in my Discord server. All you have to do is just join the Discord server, link on screen or in the description, and go ahead and head over to the giveaway channel and react to the post to enter. Okay, so here we are now in game. I'm going to show you guys the differences in the sounds between the regular footsteps versus the amplified footsteps. So here's me walking with just the regular default footsteps. As you can probably hear, it's just normal default sounds. Now I'm going to hop into another game with the amplified footstep sounds. Okay, so now here we are back on the map site with the amplified footstep sounds. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and listen to the difference. As you can probably hear, it's much, much louder. Now I'm going to hop into a game where I have the bunnies on. Alright, so here I am now in game with the amplified footsteps down still, of course, but I do have the bunny slippers on and I do have my cosmetic volume also set to zero. So as you can probably hear, I'm walking around right now. You can't hear my footstep sounds whatsoever, but if I have my test, let me walk around for me. You can hear that the amplified footsteps are still working, even though my footstep sounds are inaudible. And if I go underneath, you'll still be able to hear my test dummy walking around. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys a side by side comparison using the test dummy using the default sounds versus the amplified sounds. All right, so now that we've heard a side-by-side -side comparison between the default footsteps versus the amplified footsteps, you guys have probably heard quite a noticeable difference between the two. If you guys do want the footstep sounds, they will be in my Discord server under the settings channel. Again, shout out to Zambalo for providing these sounds. All credit goes to him. All right, now I'm gonna hop into a free-for-all game just so you guys can get a more realistic situation of what it's like to have the amplified footstep sounds alongside the bunny slippers with that zero cosmetic volume. All right, so here you are now in a game of free fall. As you guys can hear, my footsteps are not being heard at all, but I can hear the enemy footsteps. So we're just gonna have a little stroll here, get a couple kills here and there. You guys can hear that the amplified footsteps sounds are indeed working. See, I think normally with the default sounds, I wouldn't have known that guy was behind me there. 
Got this crossbow guy. Can we get the assist? Can we get the rev person? Yes, we can. Hear a guy to my right, but there's a guy that didn't spawn. Yep, this guy from my right. Hear that guy right there. You guys may have heard that too. We got this guy seven. Another guy here. We're gonna get, clean him up. Get the supply crate. Get the kill on the RPG player. Another kill on the guest seven. And you guys down here. Oh, guy behind me. Got a couple guys to our right here. Got the shotgun, another one. I hear him somewhere. Was here somewhere. Oh, might have been him. Nope. Oh, he's above. I was here, another guy behind me as well. Ah, we're gonna get killed by the Killed by the level 62 player. All good, all good. Oh, let's go on the shotgun. Got the AK player. But I really want you guys to pay attention to these sounds and just notice how clear you can hear the enemy's footsteps from the different spawn points. Because there are a lot of situations where if you had the default footsteps down, you wouldn't be able to know that they were there. There's another guy down here, I believe. But I did hear a guy behind me. That was a shotgun player. And we're gonna die to the bow. It's all good. Clean up the guy in the zigzag. The guy behind me. Got him. Oh, for the guy that spawned right there close to us. And another crossbow player. And crossbow is really overpowered on freight, especially if you can hold down that hallway with it. It's quite deadly. And the guy to my right there. Or to my left, sorry. Guy to our left here. He's gonna get that to the AK player. Get that kill there. Spawned on the snowman. Shotgun player's down there. Gonna clean him up. Match is coming to an end here real soon. Can we get the 50 bomb? I don't know, can we? We're getting there. I look looking good. There we go. Got behind us. We're gonna- Oh, didn't quite get him, but as you guys probably heard, there was quite a noticeable difference. You could really hear when people were gonna be approaching you from the sides when you normally probably wouldn't be able to hear that with the default sounds. And having those bunny slippers with the Zero Cosmetic really helps you focus in on the enemy footsteps more than your own footstep sounds. So definitely, if you do have the KR, I would recommend you guys do try it out. Get a pair of squeakers or a pair of bunnies. Both should work just fine. So that's going to conclude the video, guys. I hope this helped give you some more insight as to how players are able to use a fairly expensive item in the game to help give them an advantage by combining the modded footstep sounds with the contraband shoe items in the game to be able to pinpoint enemies easier. It's basically like having a free wall hack and it might be difficult to patch this as the devs would either have to remove the cosmetic audio option entirely or remove steps from being able to be modded, which I just don't see that happening in the foreseeable future.